Christina, you're the RTC Technical Director. How does it feel to join the club? Um, well, I've been here for a long time now, for around eight years, um, and I'm really, really excited to take on this role. So, yeah, I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into it, really. You highlighted your past, and you said you've been here for eight years. Can you go into depth about you as a player at Birmingham City Ladies? Yeah, um, I came here when I was about 22. I think Mark and Heather, Heather, sorry, uh, Laura Harvey signed me. Um, I was at the club playing at the top tier of women's football and then I was part of the Women's Super League um, squad over the last four years or so and um, played in Champions League football, FA Cup final. So uh, I've been part of the club for a very long time and I carry it very close to my heart. So um, yeah, I'm very passionate about this club and I can't wait to kind of get stuck into the role and, and see, see where we go, see how we move forwards. And in that time, the club has not only grown off the pitch but on it as well. That's been a good change for the club, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. It really has. Um, the changes are incredible from when I first played for the club to kind of where we're at now and with Mark Skinner taking on the kind of the first team role. Uh, we're in a really good position and I'm really excited to kind of support that and nurture some of the players coming through into kind of our development academy first team. So, yeah. There's quite, a young, there's quite an emphasis on a young team and they've got lots of good girls yeah. coming through into the first team. It's an exciting project for yourself. It really is. There's a lot of um, a lot of the players um, I've I've coached personally or I've worked with, and they're, they're good people and also very good players, and they're very driven and and they want to do their best for for Birmingham. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of be a huge to play a huge part in that and ensure that we continuously kind of develop um, players that are going to be in our first team and they have kind of the key values and work rate and and and, and quality that I know Mark is looking for for a player within the first team. So yeah. What sort of ages do you start from and what are you trying to encourage throughout the RTC? So uh, we start with our babies, our under 10s, all the way to our 16s. And then, of course, we've got our kind of education pathway with Solly Old College, so our academy and our development squads. Um, and the main thing is that we create a good environment for the girls to learn and uh, not to fear anything. Um, they're there to make mistakes and actually that, that's how they learn and that it get better. Um, we have a huge emphasis on professionalism. Um, and, and pushing them and making them the best player and person they possibly can be. Um, and by doing that, hopefully we can get them to reach their potential. And, and what we want is to produce as many homegrown players as possible for Birmingham City. You highlighted earlier, Mark Skinner is now the first team coach. You're replacing him yep. in this role. You must be excited. You're a good friend of Mark as well, aren't you? I, I am indeed. And I'm, I'm really happy for him. He, he deserves that role and he's going to do an excellent an excellent job at it and I'm looking forward to going and watching the first team play and, and seeing what he's instilled in that um, and I just want to kind of make him proud and continue kind of the legacy he's left behind with, with the youth section which is, is really important to us and it, it's the foundation for our first team as well.